Yo, what's up guys and gals? JakeBlogSec here. You can get to me, can't you? Okay, I fixed that problem. Yo, what's up guys and gals? JakeBlogSec here. Where today... I am... Showing you how I made the USS Saratoga's uh, deflector shield effect. Now this effect was dedicated to some good friends and fellow Trekkies. Um, and you can check it out on my Facebook page. Just click the link in the description below or in my bio on YouTube. This will be posted both to YouTube and Facebook. Facebook might need to be posted in sections because I don't know if Facebook lets me post 10 minute long videos. We'll find out if this, however long this video is. <coughs> yes, what in the Lord <coughs> Almighty? Okay, well, we gotta deal with that knowingness. Um, but, um, so, as you can tell, I'm a huge Star Trek fan. Where'd the rest of the phaser go? I'm missing part of my phaser. Wait, here's a Mark I phaser from the original series. Got communicators. Oh, that one's broken. Okay, hold on. Communicators. Tricorders, which is too big to get out. And, um, I got these. Yes, I'm a huge fan. But... So, uh, it was obvious that I would create a deflector shield effect. It was, it was pretty obvious, come on. If you didn't think that, then why, why are you here? But, I love myself some good old Star Trek. But anyway, stop messing with the effects, Jacob. Jeez, gotta actually get into it. It's already been two minutes. Alright, so, I used the... The Red Air modeling, modeling software, software called Blender. Blender. Apparently, I can't, I can't change, change the size of my webcam. I'm gonna bring, bring it down a bit. Whoop! Whoop! Much, Much better. better. Okay. So, so I went over to Blender, Blender which, which is up here for me. You, you can, can buy it at Blender.com or Blender.org, Blender. actually. Let me just check. Blender.org. But, um, you open it up. The newest version currently is Blender 2.83. I love it. This is my custom setup. It's a little bit more orange. Usually it's not as orange and a different shade of gray. But, I like it this way, so I'm keeping it. But anyway, um,. So, first thing I did is, well, I hit A, and I hit delete. Delete everything in the scene, so there's nothing here. Now, I went, went to files, files, but I don't want you to look at all my files. files. Um, uh, so, I had this ship, which I downloaded from Sketchfab. I'll leave the link in the description below, from this incredible creator. Uh, he did the USS Saratoga, and, um, I'm gonna give him complete credit for it. He did all the work for the actual ship itself. I was just using it as the ship while I did the outside, um, effect for the, uh, YouTube, the, the deflector shield. So let's, um, open up the Sketchfab thing. Here it is. Uh, the USS Saratoga fan design, whatever, I don't even know how to pronounce this. Him, it's all, uh, you probably can't see him, can you? Yeah, you can. Him, it's all his. Just giving him credit. Oh crap, it's loading. He's trying to render the 3D model. But this is the ship. It's a bit laggy because I'm screen recording. It's really well made. I'm hoping I'm gonna give him full credit, but my plan is to use it for the rest of the web series. 
and I'm gonna ask him how he made this, so I can make my own ships and stuff like this. Uh, ask him how he made the textures and all that. But, yeah. There it is. A fan design in a reimagined the original series style. But anyway, back to Blender. So, um, I use the USS Saratoga. So what I'm gonna do is you hit import. It, I have it set up in a GITF 2.0 file. So I go there. Pray to the Lord. I don't know, why am I showing you from scratch? I shouldn't do that because that's a lot of time. See, I'm all out of whack today. I'm gonna go to my blender saves, and there you go. So, I'm um, gonna editing this today. Alright, so, I'm gonna hide every single thing here and the only thing you're gonna see is this ship here which if I hit look dev it's not gonna render it'll just take us it'll just try to grab all the textures out of the file and slap it onto the um, model which will take a while cuz I'm screen, screen recording there it is, all the textures and all that, and I'm not gonna even dare hit render while I'm screen recording, cause goodbye to my computer. But yeah, it shows it. Now, first thing you do that I did is I hit Shift A or hit Add, and then added a UV sphere, and then I put it in the middle, stretched it out around the ship, so. It would look like this, basically. Now I added here, so it looks it looks like it's a wireframe. The reason it looks like a wireframe is because I went to modifier properties and hit add wireframe. Actually, no subdivision surface. I went to um, where is it? Where is it? I went to somewhere. I went to um. I don't know what I did. Wow, I really have gone crazy. Okay, that's nice. Viewport display custom properties. Well, I added a wireframe. So, yeah. I added a wireframe. You can do it through here. I probably just hit add and it just immediately added it. Because once you hit apply, you can't get rid of it. I probably accidentally hit apply. Um. But, yeah. So, make sure you have ambient occlusion on. Bloom. Screen, screen, screen space reflections. And motion blur. And make sure you're not using cycles or workbench using the new EV engine. Now, this looks cool and all, but obviously this isn't the shield. It has effects and stuff. So I hit Shift D and duplicated it, then pressed S and sized up the actual um, wireframe collision and added the. And added, sorry, added the uh, the canvas, which is where the actual effect happens. It's where it makes impact. Because the collision does the effect, and then basically canvas is a sensor, and it alerts the collision where the impact is happening. So if I do this, you can see there's... 
two, you can see two layers, just slightly different. And then, then I added the phase emitter, which is just a plane. And then I used a phase instant, which is this. Which is basically a cube that added that I added a level one subdivision surface to and stretched it out. That basically is the phaser that fires. So if I go to frame 20, you see a phaser fire. And that is basically a particle simulation of... It's basically just copying all the cubes, the stretch subdivided cubes, and just continuously firing it. Until, until it, it switches. switches. And, and then, then if we go, go back to, to scene one. one. Uh, uh, then, I don't, I don't know why I have this hidden. hidden this now. And, and then I have the sun, sun for when, when I render, render it so, so you can see, see it. Then, then you, you have, have the camera, camera you bring, bring it here. here. Most, Most people aren't interested in how I got the camera to shake and how I got it to move. That's not as interesting. But, but, yeah, yeah I'll do, do that, that separate video. video. But, but you, you see, see, it does this light thing. thing. So, so on the canvas, canvas I went to, um, I went to, uh, what's it called? Physics properties and added a dynamic paint, which, based, and I switched it to image sequence and shrink. And, and then, then I, I chose, chose the path and paint, paint maps, and, and then I changed the, the color of the paint, paint, map, paint map. So it basically has that color. And, and if I go to the shading tab, you can see, uh, so it's got, this is where the light blue color from comes from. Then... We, we, that, that is plugged into an emission node, which is plugged into a mix shader, which eventually plugs into the final render material output. But the shader is a transparent, so it actually looks slightly transparent, so you can, well, see it. Well, you can still see the shield, but you also see the ship. And, and then, then the paint maps, if, if I got, got rid of the white color, um, if, if I got rid of the blue color, basically is a white version of that. If, if I actually open up the paint maps, you can see it's literally the, that white stuff is the shield. It's the shield being warped and stuff. And it's basically being changed and taken out of just stuff like that. Yeah, that basically makes that effect. And then, if you know that if I... Can I, like, hold on a second. I set the render world. If I hit render, will I die? I'm not dying yet. But okay, if I get rid of, like, visibility of the face in it. You can see it's making this like weird. It's like it has its own motion, like it's vibrating, kind of. Well, the way I did that. I'm gonna go back to look depth. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. Go back to shading. And then. I added a noise texture, put it to 40 so we could animate it so it did the round, like the ant, the vibrating thingy. And I set the, I don't know what it's called, W. It's just W, which you probably can't see. No, I can't see. I can't see because I'm not looking at my screen recorder. Well, one thing, I set uh, the scale. Which, if I go, um, like, scene 40, let's say that. Go back to shading. Hide the face. Can I hide the face in me? Hide that. If I mess with the scale, if 
I bring it down, it's not going to be as noticeable. And then you can bring it to the negatives, which does the same thing as bring, bringing it up in the negatives, so like that. Does the same thing as bringing it up in the positives. And the reason I didn't want it to look like that, because that... No, that's not right. And that's also not right. I don't want it to look like little pixels. I want it to look like a shield. Oh crap, I went too far. Um, so, that's why I had it sit at 15,000. Then, I kind of messed with the detail. I like 9.3. I don't know why I said 15,000 earlier. Detail, for some reason, you can't see or notice. Then there's roughness, which I don't really know what that. Oh, that's what it does. Is it basically shows like it either blends it or doesn't. And then there's distortion. There's zero distor. Can I get zero? Zero distortion. And then there's a lot of distortion and negative distortion. I, I chose a little bit of negative distortion. Oh, and make sure your emission shader is at 5. So it kind of glows, but doesn't glow a lot. And then also have your paint maps. This image sequencer goes to the factor mix shader, or factor node for the mix shader. And then just hit auto refresh, so it whenever it changes, it moves to the next image which is basically that's just an image on a sphere a oddly shaped sphere and that's how I got the effect and yeah no I don't need to save uh, let me open up the final render that's basically what it looked like I think, I think it look. I think it looked great. That was, that was for the, the first test. test. First, first time, time I tried it. it. I tried it again on the US Enterprise C and messed with stuff a little bit more. And that's what I did with this ship. I think this ship looks a little bit better, personally. And then, uh, you probably want to hear the one with the audio. So, I'm gonna go to my exports. There you go. You can't hear it! Dang it! Okay. That's nice. Turn up volume. And... Yeah, just turn up... Right, sorry, I'm able to hear myself. Okay. Okay, ready? Very loud. Very loud. But anyway. So. Thank you all for watching. I definitely hope you enjoyed this video. And um, that it was useful. I'll do a in detail tutorial next time. But um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.